Welcome to Far Off Grid. I'm Roy. And I'm Amy. We are the FARs, F-A-R-R. -R. That's why it's Far Off Grid. But you've probably already figured that out by now. <laughs> but what we wanted to uh, talk about in this video is the different options that we've had as far as the different properties that we've looked at. <clears throat> So, and kind of maybe, you know, the pros and cons of each one. And then we will let you know which one we've chosen. Okay, so first we have the property in St. John's area. And that is, you know, north of St. John's, uh, right up next to the New Mexico border in a little area called Sierra Highlands. So that was that was the property we have been leaning towards the most throughout this process. Um, and you want to kind of expound upon that as to why mm -hmm. you liked it so much and... Okay. Um, yeah, I liked it because, well, I really liked the views and... Um... You had the White Mountains and also some uh, different kind of painted desert looking areas. Yeah, it was, a, it was a, a plateau with you could see all the different strata um, layers so it's pretty cool. Yeah it was really pretty and you know it had, it had a decent amount of trees although they were not huge trees the juniper trees um, I like that and had a I few just, pinion pines on it yeah as well. it had some pinion pines which I like because they have the pine nuts in them and I mean, the pine cones have them. <laughs> yeah, pine cones have the pine nuts in them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I, I guess I just, I really like that area. And, um, well, actually, the first property we looked at had a lot of really cool rocks. And I thought that was a really neat. Um, just didn't have much just, views. Yeah, it didn't have as good of views as the second one that we really leaned toward. And then we looked at some others, too, um, in that same area. But, um, anyway, <clears throat> sorry about that. Our cat likes to get into things. Um, so, I just really like the views, I guess, because a, a lot of the rest of things from the was second property. very similar, you know. Um, the views from the yeah, second yeah, property. Yeah, yeah, the second property, yes. Yeah. And uh, then, then we went to the Ash Fork area and looked at some property there. And um, do you want to expound on the Ashfort pro property? Well, the Ash Ashfort property, um, I really liked the terrain of the property. Mm -hmm. um, it had bigger trees on it. it had um, really nice pinion pines on it. It did have um, good elevation. It had a lower area where it didn't have a lot of rocks. Most of the property had a lot of rocks, pretty, pretty good sized rocks, as you can see in the videos. Uh, or in the video, um, but in the in the lower section, it had a good area where you could garden, and we're you know we we want to be able to garden, but I don't know, it was just something about that property that was just really nice, just really liked. I liked again, you know, liked all the trees. They were they were nice. The trees were bigger <clears throat> on that property, they considerably were. bigger. Yeah. Okay, and then the last property that we really considered. Um, and of course, we looked at other properties, but these are the these are the primary ones that were, were of interest. And then the last property that we looked at is the one in Concho, and you know that property at first we weren't really interested in no. it at all. <laughs> um, but I contacted the real estate agent, and he sent me some drone footage of the property. Which, if you watch the last video, the new option video. Uh, you'll see that drone footage, and it's very nice. Um, and that made it a lot more attractive to us. Um, so I ended up taking a taking a trip out there, um, drove all the way back out there again uh, after mm -hmm. I talked to the um, real estate agent. Um, okay, so the property in Concho, um, it's you know the the soil is a little bit rocky. The views are really amazing. They're they're really um, the pictures, the video really doesn't do it justice uh, when you're there and, and you can see so far. 
um, just really nice long distance views um, pretty much all the way around it has not very many uh, trees on it and I think they're pretty much all juniper trees um, but the nice thing about that property is it already has a well yes very important to have a well although to... we didn't know if the well was any good right when Roy went out to look at it it was, it was a turning point to get our interest more <laughs> yes. um, in that direction to look at that property. So um, anyway, I looked at it. It was, it was uh, really neat. And, you know, the, the buildings, uh, you know, <laughs> the, the mobile home, it's going to be a lot of work. Um, some might say that we should even haul it off. But I'm the, you'll kind of get to know that I'm the kind of person that, that sees the good in and most everything, especially when it comes to buildings, um, I like to uh, fix it if I can. And mm -hmm. it's really not that bad. Structurally, uh, the, the trailer, the mobile home is, is sound. I, I'm, I'm jumping ahead here. You are. Let's stay focused. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get to that later. <laughs> yes. The metal building is really, really neat. It needs to be finished up and, and uh, you know, I'll put together, but all the pieces are there as far as what I could tell from the last time I was there. I counted all the different pieces. That property, the positive aspect on it too as well, is that it's 45 minutes total from the property. It's 45 minutes to a decent sized town, and that town is Sholo. And, um, you know, you have all of your really important I would say shopping like your Walmart, your Home Depot and your Lowe's and and uh, different supermarkets. open long-range views mm -hmm. <laughs> because I've lived in Georgia most of my life and I, and Roy has too That's... and here you don't get that you don't get that at all you know it, it's you, you'd have to get up high to really see a long-range view yes yes you do you um, get above the trees <laughs> right yeah it's kind of like the old saying you can't see the forest for the trees right okay so um, when I went out to look at the property there in Concho on the around the 14th of October, um, after I looked at the property, walked the property, um, we came back to the car and I went ahead and asked the realtor to get the owner on the phone if we could, so we could go ahead and and make a deal on that property. And uh, amazingly enough. Uh, we actually ended up settling on twenty thousand dollars for the property, and I I think that's a that's a real blessing. You know the it it does take a special person to want to buy yes. that particular piece <laughs> of property, because like I said, most people would probably just haul want to haul those trailers off, and then then you're kind of going backwards. Whenever you have to do that, you're going to be spending a lot of money. Yes to get those those hauled out of there mm -hmm. and and then not knowing anything about the well whether or not the well was even good um, you, you, you're you're really it's, it's really a gamble on whether or not it would it would even um, be a good purchase at all but uh, we we came to the number of twenty thousand dollars and I thought that that was uh, that was a very fair price and I went ahead and had the uh, well tested and so awesome it they just took the uh, generator up to it and it started pumping water so and the water looked good so um, and they tested the water and everything is good with the water 
So that was that's a huge hurdle. I mean, we're talking about you know we're in the desert, uh, kind of remote, and uh, pretty remote, yeah. and and without water, you know, it's very important, you know, to have water. And you know, the nice thing, one thing that was really attractive uh, to us as we investigated this more was that the Concho area, there's um, pretty decent uh, precipitation every year. For like, for a desert. For a yeah, desert, yeah. yeah, for a desert. I mean. Georgia, we get, you know, 55 inches a year. <laughs> yeah, of rain. So, yeah, a lot. Yeah. So, but out there, um, you know, you're doing pretty good if you if you get over 10 inches of rain annually. Um, there are people that um, I know, handyman. Uh, they they get I think about 10 or 11 inches of rain down there in Tucson a year, and they're doing rain catchment, rain harvesting. Mm -hmm. So if you build a big enough surface to catch the rain and you have big enough containers to hold the, the water um, you can do it with just 10 inches a year that's right i, th I think their tanks are full or i believe I so know. i believe so they're, they're doing just fine <laughs> right yeah it's I it's, mean, it's pretty incredible pretty awesome. that you can do that um and i've heard of people even being able to um survive with just seven inches of rain per year so pretty pretty awesome but um the nice thing is in Concho, in, in our area, you know, we actually get around 15 to 17 inches of rain per year. So really good. So the average um, snowfall in that area, yes, we get snow. We're at 63, right at 6,300 feet elevation. And I mean, that's over a mile high. You know, you hear a mile high stadium there in Denver and all that. Well, this is actually about a thousand feet higher than Denver is. So we do get snow about, it's not crazy. It's just like 32 inches average per year. So, uh, but we like that being here in North Georgia, um, we're doing good to get, you know, a couple inches a year. Anyway, that's, uh, that's where we're at. We, we have purchased that property. Now the deal is closed, uh, signed, sealed, delivered, everything's done. And we are just trying to figure out how in the world we're going to get out there. <laughs> we've got, we've <laughs> a got, lot to do. we've got a lot to do, and and um, because we're, we want to, we want to, you know, we're going to be downsizing. We're, gonna, we're we want to minimize. 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 <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm trying to say the word minimalist. Yeah, we're not minimalist though. <laughs> no, but we want to be more minimalist. <laughs> yeah, that's the dream. That's is, the dream. Is to be more more minimalist. Anyway. Keep watching, there's more to come, and I guess until the next video, we'll talk to you later. God bless. God bless.